today I've got someone coming to stay a little later. say that all the time when I vlog in the summer here that's because I'm still not quite used to it you know I'm a true Brit so I talk about the weather and when it's hot I am like whoo still can't believe it it's hot it's hot hot do you know what though I think 24 degrees it feels so much hotter than 24 degrees I think I heard on the radio this morning that the UV is extra strong today so We've creamed up the, uh, what do you call it? Decliage. Is it the decliage? Creamed up anyway, I've got me. And do you know what? Apologies, because in the last vlog, a couple of you did mention, towards the end, I was giving you my recommendations for sunscreen, what I'm using, and I'm going, this is really good. I like this one. And I actually noticed myself when I was editing. So that must be extremely frustrating when I'm saying this is really good and wafting it about and you can't see. But for future, I do always try and leave and talk about any featured products or places on the vlogs. I will always try and leave them linked or mentioned or whatever in the description box below. So if you're unsure on something or I don't speak about something or something I'm wearing or where we've been or whatever, just click the drop down arrow and I leave as much information as I possibly can in there just in case for future. Anyway, good morning everyone. It is a very hot, I'm due on now, so everything's hotter. And I ate uh, one too many cakes yesterday, so I don't know about anybody else, but when I have a naughty day, it gets me. I end up feeling like a cake the day after. So uh, yeah, I'm sweltering basically, but it's a good day. It's a good day. I've got someone coming to stay a little later. Can we guess who? So this person I've not seen in quite a few months. I'm not going to leave you guessing. I can't do that. My mum's coming. My mum's coming to stay finally for the first time at this house. She came very early on when we first moved over when we was uh, in an Airbnb. She came and stayed with us for a short trip but it was in February so the weather was pants. So she hasn't actually been in the summer and she's never actually been whilst we've been living here. Why? Why hasn't she been? For the obvious reasons, because we've had the pandemic. Also, my mum's not a fantastic traveller. She's never travelled on her own before, so she does have a little bit of anxiety about that. Uh, she'd love to come with my dad, which I'm sure they will at some point, but my mum and dad have got four dogs, which are extremely old. They are house dogs and they haven't been used to like staying in kennels or staying with other people so they're very spoilt dogs. My mum and dad adore them and um, yeah there's a little bit of anxiety about leaving them on their own which is why my dad's staying back home because he's got work and stuff anyway. So she's coming on her own so she gets here tonight. I'm going to nip out. It's like a pottering bobbing about kind of day to day it's that in between time rise at work kids are at school I've got a chunk of time before I have to pick the kids up my mum will need picking up from the airport at around 8 30 9 p.m something like that and um, I just want a bit of a food shop get some little bits I've been cleaning the upstairs flat yesterday that's ready for her because I've no longer got guys staying in there for work all in all it's a good day. It's a good hot day. Did I mention that it's hot today? Did I mention like it's extremely hot? Yeah, I'm excited. She's over for a week. So we haven't got anything major planned. Um, she just really wants to spend some time with the kids and just tag along on whatever we're doing and whatever. She's a little bit camera shy as well. So you know we've got to go easy on her you might just see snippets of her hands or feet on the vlog she might not want to show her face i don't know yet we'll have to see the vibe but she's not rude she's just camera shy 
and yeah it's gonna be nice it's gonna be so nice and then after my mum's left Rai's brother and his wife and my niece are over for 10 days and then I've got friends coming and we're finally getting to normal aren't we let's go I need some food and I might have a quick nip to the home shop because there's a home shop right next to the supermarket and I nipped in there the other week and I saw a beautiful wooden cloche that I wanted for my kitchen. It's like, um, it's got a really nice thick wood base and then it's got a glass cloche that sits on top and I thought it'd be really nice to keep on the side for like croissants and all that nice French pastry bits and I thought I could put it in the upstairs flat while my mum's here because I've got to go and get her a few lingerie bits, haven't I? When in France, you know, so. How do you feel? Well, I've done it. I've, I've put my bags in. I've checked gone through security. Yes. So now the gate doesn't open till, the gate opens at 3.30. Yes. The flight goes at 5.30, so I'm having a drink. Good. If you keep looking at the screen, it'll either say relax or something like that. Oh, yeah, 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 it does, yeah. Yeah, and it's red hot, Mum, it's so hot. It says it's only 24, but there's no breeze whatsoever. I just need to get where this is, like, second nature. Yeah, and it will be. Remember, I missed two flights when I first started doing it. If you can do it without yeah, missing any, that. you'll be fine. <laughs> Recording? Okay, you'll have to excuse this today, guys. It's been one of those dashing about hot. Did I mention it's been hot today? It's been one of those days anyway. I've been to the supermarket, then I went to the boulangerie, then I went to the fruit and veg shop, then I filled the car up, then I nipped to this homeware shop called Casa, or I think it's pronounced Casa. Quite a cute homeware shop, actually. It's got all sorts of bits and bobs and I told you that I wanted the um, wooden cloche from there and I managed to get it. I feel like this is going to be some very satisfying moments, what we're going to do now. So I saw this and I've been needing one of these, just a oil bottle. So I thought that was quite nice, just says extra virgin, high quality and natural products only since 1865. So I thought that was quite a cute bottle to put my oil in. Um, because as well, we buy this like refill bottle of the good stuff now. We don't bother with the small stuff. We found the one that we love, so we just get the beast. But obviously pouring from this is quite difficult. So I'm gonna fill this up. I know as well, actually, one of my um, UK subscribers ordered this, I think, from Amazon because they wanted to try it. So don't think that you can't get it because you might be able to get it. If I can find a link, I'll leave it below. But if you like proper olive oil, it's amazing. Like Even this, just poured over a salad, is lovely. You don't really need anything else. But as well, this mixed with lemon juice, honey, salt, pepper oh, to die for all over a salad, just delicious. And it's good for you as well, isn't it? Like, I don't ever restrict myself from proper butter, olive oil, things like that. If anything, I try and keep the processed, like, carbs and sugar down. Then I just got two of these cushions just for the chairs upstairs in the flat because they're just, like, basket chairs. So I'm going to stick those on there just to cosy it up a little bit. So I might go back and get another one of these so I can have one upstairs and one downstairs at all times because they are really nice. Look, you can see on the box, they're really good for like cheeses and... There we go, just quite rustic looking. It's got the little things on the bottom and then the really lovely glass top. Clean. Look at that. How lovely. Got to get some bits in there ready for Mama coming. Oh, I love stuff like this. Satisfying. Am I sad? I'm not. I know other people are like this as well. We're all sad together. It's fine. 
Is this not exciting, Auntie? No. Do you not it find this like... Yeah. It does yeah. make the house prettier. Do you not find it super satisfying, like... Oh, we don't want to waste it. I've watched more satisfying stuff than that. Have you? Yeah, like... Eating. Like eating? Yeah, eating. But it's, it's like... Special well, my neck, it's a big... I wish it won't keep doing the glug thing. I'm wasting it. Mm. I'm wasting the good... That's it. Don't... Oh. Stop doing the glug thing. It, wo it won't stop doing the glug thing, but I think I've got it under control now. Wow. This bottle holds a lot of olive oil. It really does. Oh, it looks so good in here. I love this ginormous bottle. Try one more time. Then you come on your daughter and your grand granddaughter here. Yeah. yeah, she's probably just like sat on there or something or getting on. Maybe there. asleep. Time for the next satisfying moment. Let's fill the cloche with some French delights. We have got Almond and chocolate croissant, absolute favourite. Oh, it's amazing. It's like filled with like frangipane kind of stuff and chocolate. Obviously, it's a real treat. That then we have got traditional pan au chocolat, and then we have got a plain croissant. Beautiful, and then. I might put two, no, she won't eat them. I'm just going to cut some tradition baguette. Stick a bit of that in there. Oh, mama. You're going to love it here. I can see a little pair of eyes down there licking her lips. Not for you, Shugs. Not for you. Almost forgot to give you a little update on our latest temporary family member, okay? Because I need to actually feed it in a minute, so I'll show you. But if you follow me on Instagram, you'll already probably have seen Graham, okay? So me and Ryan went on a walk one morning, early morning, coming up three weeks ago now and on the way back on the roadside like just on the path was this little ball of fluff I didn't see it Ryan saw it couldn't even see its head its head was like tucked right under it was just this little ball of fluff it was a little baby bird so Ryan scooped it up we couldn't find a nest we honestly don't know where it came from it was literally on the path so natural instinct took it home with us not thinking it would survive, like put it in a little shoe box, made a little nest for it, showed the kids. Oh, it gets water. He's got now we're in this box. 
Yeah, careful, still want to feed him. Right, what's he having? Let's give him some oh dry God, banana. He's like picking my hands. He's hungry. Yeah. <laughs> not food, Graham. <laughs> He's not learned to peck yet, so he lets you work. Just bob it straight in Look. there. That's it, open up. There you go. We need to show name, Graham. He takes quite big pieces of food, don't you, hon? Very big pieces of food. Just slips down the old throat, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. He loves nuts, pine nuts. He loves sweet corn, fruit, banana. So if he likes anything, he'll take anything. To be well, honest. we don't give him anything. We have to be quite careful, don't we? The reset. Bit of water, Graham. There we go. Say hello. He actually said it. He said hello. Yay, you've done so good. Say how are you? Literally tripled it. in the morning I'm sure don't you dare Could you disturb the singing down on my knees and I need you to be my God be my help be my saviour who can help and break the broken Not ready to die, not yet. Pull me out the train. Come on, mother. Where are you? Where are you? Where you said on this later. Are you outside? Yeah. Have you walked to the, the, the road bit where cars are all pulling over? Okay, walk to your left, at uh, your right, sorry. I'll walk down towards the right. Where are you? I'm walking up to the right hand side of the road. Oh, I'm on your side of the road, but keep walking down on your right. I'm, I'm pretty at the bottom. Alright, goodbye. Alright. Woo! Shelly! Shelly! Oh, that's heavy. Yeah, we'll <laughs> you did it! I did it! Oh! Made it! Can you get it in? Right, right, just put your seat back. <laughs> wow, well done! city centre different day got the full fam well minus mum apologies for this very all over the place iggledy piggledy vlog but you know sometimes this stuff happens yeah just doing what i can this week so uh, i've left mum at home she's sunning it up loving life she's laid out on the sun lounger say hello Seth's going to do the parking she's got that brit mentality Whenever you go on holiday and it's sunny, sunbathe, get a lovely tan. Get brown. Yeah. We don't do that anymore because we live here. I'm all about the SPF and stuff. But yeah. she's like, how can you not lay out in the sun every day? But if I did that, I'd literally be like a prune in 10 years' time. So we've left her to it. She's enjoying herself. She's at home with the dogs and whatever. And the bird. 
um, and we thought we'd do dancing run together tonight, didn't we? Last one of the week. Yep. So Nancy's just in the back getting changed for dancing. She's not my friend. I'm the worst mum in the, in the world because I forgot her dancing shoes tonight. It doesn't happen very often. Once every few months I'll forget something. Uh, which it's no biggie because she can borrow them from class. It's yeah, fine. But, but so big. she's not happy with me. So because it's uh, last dancing one of the week. And the kids have finished for the weekend. We're going to take them to KFC as a treat. They can get a little burger or something, and maybe a little cake or something after. And it's extremely busy because obviously the film festival is on. We've seen bits of it. It's really weird because obviously everybody's here on holiday or coming over from all over for the film festival, um, all glammed up and loving it, and we're here doing normal mum dad life routine stuff which is really weird but still you know it's life life just continues even though we live here we've just still got to carry on doing our normal stuff but i think you know what this weekend i'm ready for taking my mum out getting a bit glam doing something nice she really isn't bothered what she does while she's here she just wanted to come and spend time and see us all and everything but I'm ready Where's for the Minnie? weekend. She's at home sunbathing. Mm. We might take Seth, see if the bookshop's open as well because he's really into, I'll show you in a second. My mum bought him this book the other day. He wanted it because lots of kids of school at school have got this book and he's nearly halfway through it already. He loves it. So I am all for that. Happy to buy him another book. Anything to uh, get him reading. I love it. What is it? One Piece. One Piece? Is that what they're all called? Uh, is that the name of that specific book? No, that's what they're all called. They're all called One Piece, are they? Yeah, and they have the number on the side. They have the number of what they are There inside. we go. Apparently they're amazing. There's how many of them? Like, one of my friends said 600. 600? Yeah. Wow. I don't think it is that. So he's been thing. loving it and you're nearly halfway through already. You know, of all French books, back to front, like that. Yeah, even my diary of one. Because yeah, was... like you opened the book the opposite way. Isn't that crazy? Like my mum was like, why is it, why is it back to front then? Weird. So you want another book, do you? Yeah. Oh, it's like comic -y inside. Yeah. Back to Don't spoil the books, it for me. The French books, you read them that Don't way. Spoil Don't spoil it for me. Yeah, because this is like, now you're a worm kid, I'd skip pages and stuff. But this, I don't want to skip pages. Oh, isn't that fab? When you really love a book. Look at that. And it's one of those scratches that's just really awkward and takes ages to heal. It's like a nail scratch. Whenever you get a nail scratch, like... Ryan, before, you know when you're in bed and you get a toenail scratch off your partner and it just is the most, sorry, this is TMI, it's disgusting, but it's just, they don't quite heal the same as other injuries. They really take forever. Well, anyway, I've got a, ne not a toenail scratch on my head, but I've got a nail scratch on my head. I've been taking occasionally on night times uh, ibuprofen, but from the back, I've still got back and it wakes me up every single night i'm actually going to see somebody tomorrow morning about it 8 30 so can't wait because i literally dread going to bed every night because it wakes me up anytime from 2 a.m between 2 and 4 usually every morning my back pain wakes me up so anyway i've been taking ibuprofen and it sometimes wakes me up like i fall into a really deep sleep with it and then i'll wake up and feel like a spider's coming towards me and that happened the other night and i literally scratched it off my head and i didn't realize that what i'd done because i forgot and then the same thing happened last night i woke up and it looked like these spiders coming towards me i think it's because my eyes take a second to vision and then i realized what i'd done so yeah Mama. What? Do you know how much people have blonde hair? How much percent of people? Two percent of people have blonde hair. No. Look. That can't be true, darling. It is true. Look at it. Oh, naturally blonde hair. Yeah, I have natural blonde hair, right? Yes. So I... I thought it would be a lot higher than two. There's a lot. Two percent of people have naturally blonde hair like me. 
It must mean really light blonde hair. Only 2% of the world's population has naturally blonde hair. Yeah, that's probably right. I thought it'd be way more. Because if you think of the, um, the ethnicity of the world, yeah. where people live, Africa, uh -huh. You think of the places that have the biggest populations. China, right. all have black hair. Africa, all have black hair. Ah, uh, okay. Get you. <gasps> Pakistan, oh. all have black hair. I get you. It's like the fifth largest country in the world, Pakistan. Well, do I class as blonde then? Because I'd say I have mucky blonde hair. Yes, yeah, you have blonde what hair. What about me? You've yeah, got blonde hair. Blonde. But mine was very light when I was little, like you. Now it's just mucky Come blonde. On. Are you having a KFC? I am. Oh yeah, what are you getting? You're not stopping me from eating a KFC. <laughs> oh wow, it's uh, crazy, crazy busy. Everybody's frantic. Have you got <gasps> that? Look. Oh. oh, she's frantic. She's fuming, is it even a time to go? Oh dear me. Oh dear. Oh dear. My mum would be having an absolute fit if I were driving in this. Really cool shop, isn't it? Actually, look at that. Wow, you always feel like you have to whisper in here, don't you? They got number two. Oh, are these all of them? Wow. One, two, three, four. Oh, they're all set out in order. Oh, the other three things. So cool. So cool. Yeah. What do you like? Uh, the noise. Have you got your number two? Put that in your bag. And also put this in your bag so I don't start reading it. My bag, Dad. No, it was a double kernel. Of my burger? Mm -hmm. It was basically the same size as the towel, then, just a bit like, bigger. Why are you eating it up yeah, and I'll down? No, no! Keep right no. And <laughs> See, that burger's bigger than your head, babe. <laughs> Not for me. Oh, whoa. Did you choose a bigger burger than Dad's? You don't mess about, do you, boy? <laughs> Thank you for cheese. What did you get? A uh, double kernel burger. Double kernel? Nancy, <laughs> let the boy enjoy his burger. Just literally stood outside Chanel, but it's heaving. I doubt we're going to see anything. And there's people stood on flower pots. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm just outside. You know what I'm saying? We've got, we've got music. Yeah. Go right. I'm from the building there. Bonsoir à toutes, bonsoir à tous, bienvenue pour saluer le retour du cinéaste George Miller à Cannes.
see. Who do you reckon? Hey, some Anyone? Hey, Ozzy. <laughs> I've got to take my mum back. Oh, yeah. back. She She'll would love absolutely it. love that. I mean, we didn't see any A-listers, but the vibe was enough. It was incredible. Super busy. And yeah, it's nice, wasn't it? Ryan had to dash off a little bit early because he had a work phone Meetings, call, meetings. Fact, uh, me and Seth saw somebody who the paps was snapping away at, didn't we, Seth? Yeah. But the problem is we didn't know who it was. I think it was a TikTok guy, not yeah. sure. Um, called at the boulangerie on the way back. We've got the tradition baguettes, and I got some bits to fill up my mum's cloche because I like to keep her topped up while she's here, you know. The full on French way, so we got some more almond croissants, but not chocolate almond croissants this time just almond croissants which are actually nicer the ones with chocolate are a little bit sickly they were probably put in still gorgeous then what else did we get another pan of chocolate and oh that one stuck to that one now i got a new one i didn't know what it was it wow looks good Yeah, super hot one. like super quick i know like chocolate's melted look you'd like that one actually i should have got two of those that one's got full-on custard in there and everything. You love your custard, don't you? Oh, do you know what I've eaten today, though? Do you want that? I had that one for breakfast that you cooked me. Oh, and then I went, got back to the office. One. I got to the office and they bought chuffing the same. So I had another one. Oh, you greedy man. And then that one there, right there, look. You're not eating that, no, are you? No, I'm not eating it. Do you want it? No, I don't want it. My mum won't mind. I actually don't want it. Okay, well don't be greedy then. And I've had a KFC. You have? Yeah, and do you know what else? I had uh, a sandwich for dinner, so basically all of that is bread. Gulper! <laughs> Bring the gulper! I've had a very breadish day today. You crabby man. Mm. Uh, so basically, signing off guys. Hope you enjoyed the Bitty Bobby vlog. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. What's the next one? Well, do you know what? I've got lots of gardening planned with Mother. Yeah. yeah. While she's here, I'm going to make the most of it. She's got the knowledge. She's going to help me. And we're going to do... I'm going to take her into Cannes as well. So anyway, I'll see you all soon. Love yous. Bye.